Hi there, I'm Paxi, and I come from a faraway planet. I came to Earth to meet you and tell you about my space adventures. Are you ready to explore your solar system? Oh, I love looking at stars. No wonder so many of you enjoy it. But wouldn't it be better to look at things from space? Come on, let's go! This is your planet Earth. Can you see half of it is bright, while half is dark? The Earth is spinning! The half of the Earth that is facing the Sun is lit up, so you have daytime there, whilst the half facing away from the Sun is dark, so you are in nighttime. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to make a full spin, a whole day! Look, there's the Moon looping around, or, as we say, orbiting around the Earth. Did you know that the Earth orbits around the Sun while it spins? The Earth and the Moon always stay together. It takes one year for the Earth to make a full loop. Let's first go closer to the Sun, but not too close. I don't want to burn my antennae again. Phew! The Sun is our star. It is very hot and it gives us light and warmth. Now, Earth is not alone. It is just one of eight planets that orbit the Sun. Let's have a look at them. The four small rocky planets closest to the Sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Mercury is very close to the Sun and it is the smallest planet of the solar system. Venus is very hot. It has a thick and dense air, poisonous to humans. I better keep my helmet tight since this air is poisonous for me too. We've already seen Earth, your home planet. It is very special, you know. It is the only planet in the solar system covered with liquid water, rivers, lakes and oceans. And the only one to host life as we know it. Mars is covered in rusty dust, giving it a reddy orange colour. That's why people call it the Red Planet. Maybe there was water here too, a long time ago. Look over there. After Mars, there are lots of smaller bits of rock. These are called asteroids. And there are millions of them. They form the asteroid belt and they orbit the sun too. Further away from the sun, there are four truly huge planets, much, much bigger than the Earth. There are Jupiter and Saturn, the gas giants, and Uranus and Neptune, the icy giants. Here comes Jupiter, the biggest planet in your solar system. It is so nice with its colourful stripes of gas, isn't it? The great red spot you see is a swirling storm that could fit two Earths inside it. Do you know that many planets have their own moons, just like the Earth? Well, Jupiter has more than 60 of them. And look at Saturn, with its spectacular rings. They're made of billions of tiny pieces of ice, rocks and dust. Uranus and then Neptune are really cold and stormy, so I wouldn't like to go there on my holiday. Now, we have seen all of the planets in your solar system and some asteroids. What shall we do next? Are you curious to see more? Then let's travel even further away from the sun. Brr, it's really cold and dark out here. Hey, that's Pluto, a dwarf planet. Wow, what are those dark objects? They look like giant, dirty snowballs. Wait, one of them is coming towards us. Now I see, this is a comet. It is made from rock and ice. It resembles the asteroids we saw before. But let me tell you, it is very different. This one is heading in towards the sun. Next time, we'll follow on together to see what happens. So that's the solar system. One star, the sun, eight planets, over a hundred moons, and millions of asteroids and comets. What an exciting place!